Let me ask you about the marriage agency or the mail order bride business in Ukraine. What do you think about it? It's mostly good or mostly bad? What are your thoughts? Mm, yes, it, uh, it's a хорошее, хорошее, много возможностей, это сфера деятельности, которая может людям помочь, но на данный момент, к сожалению, этим пользуются mm -hmm. люди только для того, чтобы заработать mm -hmm. деньги в основном. Есть, конечно, много нормальных агентств, mm -hmm. но... It is a good industry which can help people, but unfortunately there are a lot of agencies that just want to earn money on people. But still there are good agencies. Если мы смотрим на агентство, которое очень сильно пользуется, например, Photoshop на сайтах, и преувеличивает возрастные рамки, требования, то, то мы можем уже сказать, что это определенная ложь, которая просто привлекает больше mm -hmm. мужчин. Mm -hmm. If we see that an agency uses lots of Photoshop and just lies about the age difference, about the preferable age difference of a woman. Like if you see a big age difference, yes. like she's mm -hmm. 30, but she says on her profile she's interested in a man up to 65. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. This is a bad agency? You think? Yes, we can see that this is a ba bad agency and uh -huh. not reliable. Uh -huh. uh, because they want uh, more men. More men, more money. Yes. More money. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. So that's a good tip. So if a man is looking to find a good agency and he sees profiles with 30 years age difference on most of them, probably that's a bad agency. I think yes. Uh -huh. uh, because uh, men like мужчина как попадает в какой-то в какую-то какую сказку, там, где mm -hmm. все его любят и все хотят с ним пожениться. Mm -hmm. Because in some agencies a man just gets like into a fairy tale. Uh, like there are lots of beautiful women who are interested in him and they want to marry him. At age 60 mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. And she's 30. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and, and so overall in the, in the industry, I'm trying to get a, a feel for you think this whole industry, which is a billion dollars a year, the marriage agency industry in Ukraine and Russia, do you think they make money honestly? They honestly care about matching the woman and the man for love and marriage, and they work to try to make this happen. That's their goal in the agency. Or they really don't care about that. They just want to make money and collect fees from letter writing, from many, um, doing many business activities that's unethical cons and scams, you know, all of this uh, things that go on in the agency. Just trying to get an understanding what you think. Я думаю, что большинство агентств пытаются просто заработать деньги, потому что это откровенная ложь. Yes, most of the agencies just try to earn money on people. Если посмотреть на эти празднества и на эти дискотеки, туда, где приглашаются один мужчина на 10 женщин. Вы знаете? Нет. У них какие-то там, у них праздники, там, где они приглашают в кафе, много-много женщин и иностранцев там, один мужчина на 10 женщин. Это означает, что ненадежное, да, Ну, это просто странно, это какой-то конфетный магазин, там, где мужчины просто падают в обморок. And this celebrations are quite weird. I mean, celebrations that, uh, like disco parties, where lots of Ukrainian women and just one foreigner. Uh -huh. It's like a candy shop for a man. These socials, these parties yeah, at the night socials, that they have. Yes, uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. like, we have 200 <laughs> Western, uh, sorry, 200 beautiful Ukrainian women, yes. young. And 20 Western men. Мы должны подумать, может это просто девушки с каких-нибудь клубов, которым заплатили деньги, чтобы они пришли и потанцевали. Maybe these are just women from some clubs, and they were paid to come here and dance with men. In fact, uh, that's what happens, you know. Да. Marriage agencies pay them to come. Мужчина тоже должен понимать, что ему give gifts like iPad, iPhone. <laughs> for, for you to come. Uh, well, a raffle, like at the end. But they pay money, a lot of them, not all. Yes. And ladies get to come for free cocktails, free party. But it's big age difference, too, at these socials, you see? If, Old if men, men and their daughter. Found, uh, if men look uh, 
for wife, mm -hmm. he come in this party, he understand how you think? What happened? He understand? Or not? I, 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 I personally, I see this industry deluding the man to think that, yes, these women are actually interested in them. You know, it's a 60-year-old man, and yes, this, this 25 or 30-year-old woman would be interested in marrying him. And yes, like I say, he should have some uh, responsibility for common sense, uh, but he sees on the profiles and he's brainwashed to deluding, into mm -hmm. believing this. And I think it's, um, this is propagated in the industry, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And these socials, what do you think of them? Do you think, do you think there's any legitimate happy unions, happy meetings that happen at the socials? What do you think? На этих Может быть, можно найти. очень низкий. Maybe it is possible, but but anything's very, possible, right? Very, very unlikely. The percentage of success uh -huh. on uh -huh. such socials uh -huh. is uh -huh. very little. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Would you ever go to one of these socials? Uh -huh. You'd never go. No, never. Why? It's not for me. Mm -hmm. It's it's not interesting for me. Да, но агентство оно просто предлагает, оно имеет, оно как магазин, оно предлагает. Но если, например, мужчина приходит и начинает там объедаться чем-то, да, то он сам виноват. Ему никто не виноват в этом. Боже, это будет сложно перевести. Да. Just uh, Natasha agrees that a this is the agency is uh, like should be blamed um, the industry the marriage agency industry because they are they like a shop where a man sees lots of beautiful women and he gets like, brain brainwashed mm -hmm. and he thinks that mm -hmm. all of them are interested in him but mm -hmm. it's not quite true and, and he's drooling it's a candy store it's like yes. vanilla chocolate strawberry but if banana you many, many eat, yes you well you, you see the stories about western men that have come back to ukraine seven times at yes. five, four or five thousand dollars each trip to come back on social tours where they go to three socials yes. uh, on a tour and they come Why you think? Why you think it's happening? Yes. It's like a candy store. They're drooling. You see all these because they believe it's possible. If, What's if they possible? didn't, it's possible that um, okay, say he's sixty and he thinks it's possible that but some six time he be in Ukraine and don't not married. Mm -hmm. Why? Maybe he won't go and go like in Thailand. He just wants to party. Yes, yes. <laughs> he won't party if if he uh, found this he. Mm -hmm. Если он ищет такое, он это и находит. И мужчина, который ищет жен, я думаю. If a man is looking for a woman in such places, he finds. A person like this, mm -hmm. a wife should not be found at such socials. Mm -hmm. You won't find a good wife in these socials. Mm -hmm. I, th I think no, but I don't know. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe. Anything's possible. Maybe a uh, woman come. I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. some woman come. An honest woman. Yes, because I think uh, an honest woman can come for the first time because she's curious. But, mm -hmm. but if she'd been before, the ones I talk to, if they've been one time, if they're a good woman, they don't want to go back. Because yes. you know, they it's feel they feel like a product. Yes. Like uh, the man is shopping for a product. Well, one man for ten women. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> it's, uh, yes. it's, it's very degrading, strange. demeaning to the woman. And yes, it's something yes. I think the industry mm -hmm. really needs to stop because it's not helping anybody. Would you agree? Not yes, helping the woman, not helping the man. Uh, it's, it's it's not an it like, yes. environment conducive mm -hmm. to Happy meeting, happy matching. It's not, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 